That torpedo is going to hit a little further back, so that could cause some more structural damage. Well, not really. back everybody time for some more ultimate admiral dreadnoughts time for another taskmaster challenge i hope you guys are having as much fun watching these as we have had uh, putting them together for you and this one's going to be particularly interesting this week for the five of us because there's so many different directions it could go and i'll read you the basics to it and then let you know what i'm going to decide to do the secretary of the navy has asked uh, tasked us with developing a new all-purpose class of ships to form the backbone of the u.s pacific fleet in the post-war period We've been given $100 million each to develop a new class of vessels. It's up to us to choose how to split our budget. We can build one ship for the full $100 million, two ships for $50 million each, three for $33.3 million each, four for twenty five, etc. Uh, so uh, they must have the maximum range possible. We're each to develop one of the, sh uh, of the ship types, a battleship, battle cruiser, uh, heavy cruiser, light cruiser, destroyer. And uh, so... We can have whatever we want, but we've got to have the budget at 100 million total. So uh, my gut tells me what I'm going to try to do is make two battle cruisers, but I'm going to get into this and actually play with it and see what happens. Now, our enemy fleet is one battleship, one battle cruiser, two heavy cruisers, four light cruisers, six destroyers. Uh, so part of me wonders if a battle cruiser can take the beating necessary for that many ships. But I feel like I've got to have multiples because I'm going to need to be able to fire on as many targets as possible, uh, especially with the torpedo threat I'll be facing. Now, uh, we gain 20 points for sinking the battleship, 8 points for sinking the battle cruiser, 4 points each for the heavies, 2 points each for the lights, and 1 point each for the destroyers, a total possible... Uh, of 50 points, if I'm doing the math right on this. And uh, I think that was what somebody said. 20, 28, uh, 36, plus 8, yeah, is uh, 44. Yeah, so 50 points. Uh, now, depending on what you make, you lose points for losing one of your ships. And so, for example, if you have a battleship and you lose it, you lose 40 points. Uh, battle cruiser, 16 points. Heavy cruiser, 8 points. Light cruiser, 4 points. Destroyer, 2 points. That's what you lose per one of those ships that you build. Uh, so, the highest point total wins. In the event of a tie, the person who completed the scenario in the shortest amount of time is the winner. We start at 15,000 meters. Let's dive in. So, the only thing we have to have is maximum range. Uh, beyond that, I can do what I want. Uh, and of course, my goal is to keep the budget under fifty million. If I can make a fifty million dollar battle cruiser, that'll uh, comply with the budget uh, for having two of these. Uh, so let me go ahead and start thinking about how I want to do this and see how quickly uh, the points add up. So here's where we're at so far. I could always, you know, what I'm thinking about how I could save, for example, by switching out the towers there's only one main tower so i have no choice on that uh speed we're going to need speed uh we're definitely going to need maneuverability on this thing i'm not going to go higher than the current displacement at least until i see uh, where things are now cost becomes a factor so uh, at this point i'm thinking going diesel engine oil um which one costs more? This one's 45%. That one's 75%. We'll go with balanced boilers. Uh, we're going to start with the minimum here. If I go all the way up to Krupp 4, I'm already at $40 million. And I haven't even started protecting this thing or putting armament on it. So this is going to be interesting. I'm really wondering whether it's possible to get what I want on a battle cruiser. Uh, I'm thinking it's just not possible. I've had to sacrifice on so many things to get this thing under 50 million. I'm not have, haven't even added any secondaries to it yet. Uh, so the only thing, and, and look at the weight. I mean, I'm way off on weight. So the only thing I can think to do is to go all the way down to Krupp 1 armor, which I desperately did not want to have to do. I haven't even added radar to this thing yet. Um, 
I haven't added any kind of acoustics for, and that, see, that gets me up to 55 million right there. Uh, I can't come anywhere close. Just, you know, radar. How much is that radar? Six million for radar for generation one. It's another four million for generation two. So that's absolute a no-go on radar. And that's going to make it really difficult for me to get the ranged attacks that I'm hoping for here. Man, I'm sacrificing so many things. I don't like this at all. And I'm almost at 50 million right now. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to try and build one battleship. Now, the super battleship starts at 54 million. I don't know if that's going to be too much. Uh, of course, that thing is enormous. 98,000. I'm feeling a little more like going for the 71,000 ton ship. I think that might be enough to get done what I want to do. So let's give that a try. Uh, we're going to we're gonna scoot this thing up, I think. Um, I want to try and get two barrels on the back if I can. So we'll go to Modern sec Secondary Tower 2 here. So let's get the tall... I don't know if this tall barbette would be too high. Um, we got to go with the enlarged. Again, I'm going for 15-inch guns, these Mark IVs. Because they've got a really, they've got a 55 second reload time. You go up to 16s and you add 18 more seconds. So 15s for me are going to be the sweet spot as far as reload time so I can get more shots on target. I'm going to need a ton of secondaries on this thing, uh, starting with 8 inch. Not a lot of reload difference there, so, uh, but we got to load this thing up so that we can get as many guns as possible and looks like eights aren't going to really be a possibility for me so I think we're going to have to drop down to sixes. Oh, we can't even get those. Can I get some out front somewhere? So we have to go down to threes for these uh, spots out here. And I don't know how much they're going to really do against the destroyers but we'll give it a go anyway. Throw as many of those on there as we possibly can and hope that they can do something. Uh, we still need a funnel. We're only going to be able to do one funnel on this ship. I don't know how that's going to get us, but let me go ahead and deal with all of this stuff. All right, I was thinking a little more about this, and you know, we're starting at 15,000 meters, which is super close. And uh, unlike where I'd like to be, which is at a distance, firing at him and nailing him before he can even get close, we're in a situation where uh, we're going to be really close and taking a lot of shots right off the bat. So. I loaded this thing up with some torpedo tubes. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, so eight triples, and then some underwaters as well. Uh, we're actually a little under on cost now, so I'm wondering if I can go back up to Krupp 3 armor. Uh, but I decided, no, I decided to sacrifice some on armor and give up another one of my big turrets so I could throw some torpedo tubes and some more eights on here, uh, hoping that maybe I'll get lucky with my torpedoes and sink a couple of his big ships that way. Uh, we actually went down to 23 inch torpedoes from the 22s. We're gonna throw a little more belt armor on this thing uh, with the extra that I've got. And there we go, 99,000, or 99,996,840. Let's see what happens. Oh, what in, oh my gosh. I accidentally clicked off of the, tower there we go I think we're set now let's do this so one thing I'm a little concerned about with this is the possibility of a flash fire uh, because of the lack of protection that I've got I had to sacrifice some of that protection um, I actually want to pause right off the bat because what I want to do is make sure that I'm immediately firing on multiple targets as best I can uh, so let's go ahead and say Torpedoes right there. Mains and secondaries will do their own thing. We're going to be going awfully slow. We're going to get turned as quick as we can. We're going to have to basically just do circles so I can hopefully avoid torpedoes as much as humanly possible. Because I'm going to have a lot of torpedoes and a lot of shells raining down on me. see the shells already. I've already been hit 15 times, 17 times, and counting. Let's 
to be aggressive with the torpedoes if we can. going all the way over that way. I wanted to fire right in the middle of his setup. I'm already on fire. I've been hit 40 times in the first two minutes. Seven hits for just 32 damage out of 260 that I've already fired. Right now my eights are my saving grace. I've got a 12% chance to hit. There go a couple of the side torpedo tubes. Still not crazy about where they're firing those things. Hopefully we get enough of them out there. Something will hit. It's gonna take a while to reload them though. There's a nice hit, a five inch gun. Now the turrets aren't gonna like all this turning around, but I have to keep the torpedoes guessing. He's hit me 96 times already. Smoke's gonna make it really hard for me to land anything. You can see right now my 15s have a 0.8 chance of a hit. Of course, they're still doing their aiming process. Even my 8s only have a 2.3% chance of a hit. Gonna cross our fingers and hope for some luck with the torpedoes. I'm hoping with this many ships that something will get lucky. Ooh, there's an 8-inch eight, eight on me from a battleship. Ooh, there's a nice hit. An 8-inch with 1,300 damage, and we just sank our first light crew. Love those 8s. They've got decent accuracy. I've got a bunch of them. About to be able to get some more torpedoes in the water. I really do want to go right down the middle with those. Uh, yeah, I wish they just fire the spread right in the middle instead of trying to anticipate the movements of an individual ship. Because we're firing our torpedoes outside of the concentration. Developers, if you're watching, please give us a manual torpedo control somehow so we can decide where we want to fire the torpedoes instead of who we're firing them at. Because I just want to throw all my torpedoes right in the middle there. Uh, I've been hit 243 times, but only for 97 damage so far. There's my rudder damage. There's a decent hit. That might be enough to take. Oh, we just got a flash fire on a destroyer. Now right, let's flip back around now before torpedoes get here. Speaking of. Actually, with those ones, I think I'm okay if I don't turn, but I, I'll start the process of turning anyway because it'll take a while to get this thing turned around. Oh boy, this is going to get really interesting with these torpedoes. Turn, baby, turn. I'm 
going to take at least one. I think this one's got me. I don't have a ton of torpedo protection either. There's a sinking on a destroyer. Now, I've got to remember, though, that since I ended up going with a battleship... Ooh, that one might miss me up front. Since I went with a battleship, it's 40 points if I get sunk. Whereas if I had stuck with my battle cruiser, it was only going to be 16 points for losing one. Alright, we've successfully avoided those torpedoes. I'm going to go ahead and swing all the way around. Still at 86% though, because I've been hit 368 times. I haven't hit anything with a torpedo. I'm really disappointed by that. My eights are doing most of the damage right now. Big guns firing on one of his battleships. Got to swing it off, swing this front one all the way around though. Let's go ahead at that angle for now. That's a little better torpedo spread. So far, just two, two escort ships sunk. And I'm already down to 85%. I need to score a big one. Of course, more importantly, I need to survive. Seven point seven percent chance to hit with the fifteen. So that's a little better than it's been. Look how many shells his battleships are raining down on me. Is that battleship only got ten-inch guns? That's weird. No wonder I'm getting hit so much with not losing a lot. He's only got forty thousand ton battleships with ten-inch guns. The battle cruisers have thirteens. So I've got the biggest guns on the on the map right now but just the sheer volume of shells being hurled at me is gonna take its toll. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just fire my big guns down the middle over there because there's so many ships bunched up in one spot. So let's load up with uh, AG shells and see what we can do. Just fire a couple salvos in there and hope we get lucky. Destroyers just, just detected some of my torpedoes. Let's hope maybe we get lucky and nail somebody. Alright, I'm gonna start firing my secondaries on this guy here. Now his light cruiser detected torpedoes. Come on, baby. Somebody give me a torpedo hit.
nothing. There's nothing happening. I'm down to 80%. This is tough. A $100 million budget really makes it tough. Yeah, I really put a lot of hope in my torpedoes, and it doesn't seem to be paying off so far. Can't hit. Can't hit anything. Now we're having trouble with uh, getting the torpedoes firing, too. Let's see if we can get some torpedoes in the water. There we did. We're going into the big empty zone, of course. A big spread of torpedoes toward the emptiest part of the map. Now we're landing a few hits on the battle cruiser. Let's go ahead and keep turning our angle. I've now been hit 688 times. Eights, take that thing down. Whew. So many hits. I'm going to end up being hit probably a good fifteen hundred times before this is over. firepower coming at me. Give me a torpedo hit. I'm gonna start turning around the other way. Ten percent chance to hit the battle cruiser, but I've landed very few on him. Considering that.
Got a single torpedo in the water. Right, let's speed up a little bit for a moment. Oh, we got him. Must have gotten a, uh, yeah, we got an ammo detonation for 2,400 on the battle cruiser. That's helpful. That's a battle cruiser, a light cruiser, and a destroyer down. That's a nice hit on the light cruiser there. I'm trying to remember exactly what the composition was of the fleet. So that's the only battle cruiser that leaves. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, one battle cruiser and one battleship. So let's go ahead and get our mains firing on the Admiral Senyavin. Because once he's out of there, then really the, the major threat becomes torpedoes for me. And he's only got 10 inch guns. So the biggest guns aimed at me at this point are 10s. I might be able to keep taking a beating. I've taken 1200 hits so far. You can see the, the vast majority of the things that are hitting me are ricochets. Or partial pins. I'm going to start turning back the other way. I, I'd really like to try and take on this battleship one-on-one. -on -one. Or nearly so. Let's go right at these guys with secondaries and torpedoes, I think. There we go. That didn't do much. Overpen with the 15 on the battleship. So we've got a battleship, two heavy cruisers, three light cruisers, and five destroyers left. There's still a lot of secondaries to deal with. Complete with. Oh, his light cruisers don't have torpedoes? That means only the, only the destroyers do. And they've got a bunch. But I won't let them get close, not with my eights. All right, let's go ahead and speed things along again. All that smoke, man, it's brutal for trying to hit somebody. You can see my secondaries. 1.9, they're up to 2% now. My eight, my eights are, are climbing in accuracy. There's a decent hit. I'm gonna need a bunch more of those though. The biggest threat was that battle cruiser and that ammo detonation helped tremendously even though it took quite a while to get it. Let's keep cutting it around. Just gotta hope he doesn't take out my big guns. Because then I really have no way of dealing with the battleship. Short of steaming right up alongside her and hitting her with torpedoes. We're firing a lot of torpedoes toward that battleship, but... I don't think any of them are coming close because we're firing from so far away. Down to 
54%. Alright. What's the ship that detected torpedoes? This guy. Please tell me something's gonna hit him. He detected them, but they're nowhere close. How are we doing here? This guy's almost out. Oh, my rudder's damaged. That hurts. We're gonna turn right toward these guys. Let me pause for a second here. Okay. Damage rudder is not what I need right now. I've been hit 1,600 times, so I underestimated. I said I probably thought I'd be hit 1,500 times before it was over. All right, let's just keep going around since we're already into that. Where are we at on torpedoes with this guy? Uh, they're too spread out. getting nothing on that battleship. I might be better off to shut down my mains for a little while. Focus on these smaller ships and then chase after that battleship. And try to get up close before I run out of shells. Or use my mains on a couple of close targets. Let's try that. See if we can get lucky and get a one-shot kill. Torpedoes in the water. I think they were fired before my latest maneuver. Of hits, a couple of decent ones. On the dawn. I'm gonna concentrate everything on one ship at a time. See what happens. Beautiful. That's a nice hit. That was a 15, but it was over penetration. Oh, let's switch those two. Man, I'm putting out so many torpedoes. I'm almost out of torpedoes now. And I haven't done anything with them. There we go. Another light cruiser out. That's two. That's two light cruisers, a destroyer, and a battle cruiser. Got to stay alive, though, which means I got to sink everything. All right, let's keep turning that way. I seem to be able to do that. accuracy on all my guns. I ought to be able to land hits pretty much every time through between all of these. Some of his ships are starting to run out of ammo now too. Alright, we can speed things up. 
Yes. Yes. Watch the 15 inch shells. Make sure I save enough for the battleship. Target a little bit here. I've still got some damage that's causing me to drift to the left. There we go. Another light cruiser down. That's three. Starting to feel like there's a chance I win this and get the whole fleet. I didn't want, when I started out, I didn't want to go with a single battleship. I just felt it wasn't enough guns against that big of a fleet, but I just couldn't find a build for the battlecruiser that would give me anything decently survivable. I survived his initial onslaught. Torpedoes were pretty much a non-factor for me, so that was kind of a waste. I may have been better off just to not use the torpedoes and throw a few more guns on them. As little as they did. Let's get this last light cruiser out of here. Got a lot of destroyers out there that I haven't been able to hunt down yet. Only getting one percent on the big guns right now. I'm gonna shut them down for now. Come on. I'm gonna pummel this guy to death with little pepper shots. Pepper him to death. He's out of seven inch shells. Torpedoes in, uh, in the water near his other ships. Maybe we'll get lucky with these guys all close together like this and finally nail one at the end of my torpedoes. This guy will die. There he goes. That should be another light cruiser. We almost had him, and then it took him down again. There we go. That's four light cruisers, a destroyer, a battle cruiser. If I could just maneuver the way I want to, that's going to be a, the problem for me right now. Is this rudder damage is causing me to just go in circles. His destroyers have just basically disappeared. We may be giving up on being able to hit them. All right, first torpedoes that we've seen coming at us in a while. And with my uh, difficulty in maneuvering, I'm a little concerned, but it looks like it's going to work out okay as long as I can cut this thing to the right enough. Uh, this one will miss to this side. Everything else will miss to the left. I'm trying to hit this light cruiser, the Admiral Grieg, but I'm having trouble doing that. really having trouble hitting much of anything at this point. I think we're going to be okay on this next batch of torpedoes as well. I still just can't can't seem to get a decent percentage chance to hit on anything. 
How about we fire everything at this light cruiser? I forgot he had five of those. Wait. I sank four light cruisers already. One of them must not have been a light cruiser. It must have been a destroyer. Because I... I'm showing four sunk light cruisers already, and he still got them. So one must have been a destroyer, so I guess we sank three light cruisers and two destroyers. chance to hit. That's not worth firing those guns. Man, the accuracy is awful right now. I've lost my cruise speed bonus because of how slow I'm going. I'm only going six knots. That's my one of my biggest issues. All right, we got a couple of good hits on the light cruiser there. Looks like we might finally be getting control of our rudder again. Oh boy. Just in time for a torpedo that's coming in real fast. Woo! Well, it wasn't coming in fast. I was on five times speed. Alright, I think we're going to get that last light cruiser. I'd love to get a couple of these heavies. our secondaries on him till he's finished. I'm going to go straight at him. That's the only thing I can think to do. He doesn't have any big guns. His only chance of sinking me is torpedoes. But I've got to get in close. I just have no accuracy. Alright, let's watch these torpedoes. Yeah, I think we got him. see where they're coming. That's only one. Let's stay to this side. I think it's gonna miss them. Oh, but those might not. Alright, there's the light cruiser. So that's all four light cruisers. That's two uh, two destroyers and a battle cruiser. Still a chance I end up with a negative point total, though. If I end up getting sunk by all those torpedoes that are coming straight at me. I'm going to have to hope that somehow I can I can miss those. Oh, we've got our speed back up to 7.7 .7 knots. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get turned back around in time to miss this torpedo here. That's two torpedoes, actually. They're side by side. That could be a juicy target for them if I can't swing my bow around. Not sure that I'm going to. Ooh. Yeah, I think it got me. It's not gonna sink me, but it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt bad. Ooh, both of them. That's a lot of flooding up front, and I'm down to 24% structurally now. I just don't have the speed to be able to maneuver these torpedoes anymore. It's the heavy cruisers that have the torpedoes. I'm down to 199 shells and no accuracy. So I lose 40 if I lose the battleship. And right now I have what? 16 for the light cruisers. 16 for the battle cruiser. That's 32. Four points for the two destroyers. That puts me at negative four if I get sunk without taking anything else out. Now if I could take his battleship, that's a different story.
good news is those heavy cruisers can't fire many, I don't think. Bad news is I have a 0.2% chance to hit with my big guns. What's that? Another single. This is an exercise in the ridiculous. I can't do anything to hit him. I've got to hope I get really, really lucky with a ammo detonation. A lucky hit. Up to 1%. Peter's in the water. More torpedoes in the water. Oh, he's not even afraid of me now because he knows I can't hit anything. That one's going to hit right where the other one did, so hopefully it doesn't do too much more damage. damage the same structure already damaged before. It'll cause some flooding, but my pumps will stay on top of that. This next batch of torpedoes is going to be a different story. What can we maybe hope to accomplish on this battleship? It's a little bigger, slower target. Maybe I can hit him. torpedo is going to hit a little further back, so that could cause some more structural damage. No, not really. Oh, there's a flash fire. There goes my front turret. Leaves me with just the one. I can't even get that one on target at the moment. <laughs> I'm back down to 0.2%. Now we're just trying to get a positive score. Not entirely sure that's possible anymore. Unless I sink a couple of destroyers real quick. This is where I should have saved my torpedoes for right now.
That was a nice shot on the Archangel Raphael. That might be the kind of shot I need to get a lucky last second kill. And that's a heavy cruiser that's worth four points. That'd put me at zero for the battle. Come on, baby, finish him. That was the lucky shot that I needed. Is it enough? Yeah, I think he's gonna sink. Yep, I'm at zero. <laughs> zero points for me. Now, can we get a positive score somehow before I die? There's a torpedo hit. Oh, did that hit the one? That hit the one I already sank. No. <laughs> Finally got a torpedo on a guy, and it's not the one I wanted. And now I'm out of torpedoes. All right, let's get our big gun firing on him. Because he's the only one that's really in the proper area for me to fire. Oh, boy. That right there, folks, might be the death, the kill shot. And I'm just going to let it happen. Let it wash. Away. Three torpedoes. That's enough flooding that it might do the job. Five percent structural. Guess I should have gone in close from the get-go. Maybe I should have just charged right at him. Although he would have had so many torpedoes on him that wouldn't work. This is my last ditch effort to score positive points out of this thing. Where's that destroyer that I almost had? There he is. There it is. There it is. Positive points. We got a third destroyer. I believe that's two points. Don't think I'm winning this one. Probably too much to hope to win two weeks in a row. But man, look at that. 28,000 damage caused, only 6,000 taken. Considering I only went in with two turrets of big guns. In hindsight, wish I hadn't added the torpedo tubes. Two percent structural. Can we take out another destroyer before it's too late? think so we're at one percent and I just took another torpedo well that was fun let me know your thoughts about all that guys make sure you check out all the other videos the links are in the descriptions below to the other four and what they did I'm very excited to see what they came up with because this was a unique challenge it could have gone so many different ways uh, and if you have a suggestion for a future Taskmaster challenge just let us know what it is Maybe yours will be the one that we choose for next week. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, not only to my video, but everybody else's as well. And we are just about done. The last gasp effort as Mississippi takes another torpedo. Keeping track at home, we've been hit by nine. We've been hit by almost 4,000 shells and torpedoes. That was fun, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you again soon.